This is Charlie Miller, and you're listening to the Random Variety Show podcast, episode number... The Dress Rehearsal. Hey, thanks for downloading this dress rehearsal of the Random Variety Show podcast, the RVSP, as we call it around here. And as I like to say, no need to RSVP for the RVSP. I'm Charlie Miller, the host and creator of the Random Variety Show podcast, and this dress rehearsal episode is essentially to get everything set up, get the uh, feed set up, and uh, get the ball rolling for the Random Variety Show podcast. Uh, Not going to expect much from this particular episode, just kind of me rambling, which will actually be part of the Random Variety Show podcast in the future, except I'll have more uh, specific topics I'll talk about, uh, whether they be experiences that I've had, you know, going out and about in life, or... Um, reviews of things, you know, movies or uh, songs or, or, or food or whatever crosses my path that I think, hey, you know, let me share this with the world. That's the uh, ultimate reason for the Random Variety Show podcast. Now, it's random and variety because of what I just explained. It's uh, not, you know, it's not always going to be cooking reviews. It's not always going to be movie reviews. Uh, I'm hoping to have some interviews with some of my friends and, you know, maybe fans of the show down the road. Um, I'm, uh, I, one of the things I'd like to do is uh, get in touch with certain musicians that maybe want to have their uh, uh, another venue for their music as long as it's um, royalty free. Um, uh, the the options are endless, and that is what I love about the concept of podcasting. And I didn't want to narrow myself down to just something uh, simple, you know, like the cooking podcast or the camping podcast or the fishing or whatever, because that's not my style. I like a lot of different things. I have a lot of different uh, views and takes on life. Um, when I've talked to friends and family, uh, they've always have commented that uh, uh, they're that the, my views are humorous. So so I'm going to share some stories and things with you and interview people. So since this is just a dress rehearsal, uh, it kind of leads into the random topic of today. Um, recently, here in San Diego, California, I have been asked to direct a show called Awake and Sing by Clifford Odets, a uh, 1935 play. Uh, takes place in 1933, actually. But the uh, show is going to be going up in March of 2012 here in Poway, California. Um, I will give out the uh, theater information in the show notes. So if you miss it here, you'll be able to get it in the show notes there. Uh, the theater is Powpack Community Theater. It's a Poway uh, Community Theater. been around for, oh, uh, I want to say 60 years, 50 years, something like that. It's, a, it's, it's one of the longest uh, 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 community theaters uh, here in the San Diego area. Uh, it's on Poway Road, and uh, their website, powpack.org, P- that's uh, P-O-W-P-A-C dot O-R-G, and uh, the show is Awake and Sing. It runs from March 2nd, 2012 through March 25th, 2012. Um, 8 p.m. Friday, Saturday, 2 p.m. on Sundays. Uh, Ticket information and availability and contact information is all on the website. Um, If you're hearing this before January 16th and January 17th, those are the audition times at the theater, 7 p.m. It is a community theater. There is no pay. Um, It's one of the things that uh, San Diego is actually working on in its its community theaters to offer pay for non equity and uh, uh, non-profit organizations. But with the economy the way it is, well, (laughs) that's enough said. Um, So that's going to be coming up here in the uh, near future in my life. So I I guarantee if some of the first few podcasts are going to be either me talking about the process or uh, interviewing some of the cast that, or the people that eventually do get cast. It, uh, it's playing it by ear, seeing how it goes. So that was, that's a wonderful thing for, for me to be uh, experiencing. Uh, I've directed before, but this is actually the first uh, in the... 
Well, let me just back up and explain. In the city of San Diego here, there is a uh, organization called um, ACT, American Community Theaters. And I believe out of the, all the community theaters in San Diego, there's roughly seven that uh, participate. When I first got involved back in 2004, there was about 12 or 13 theaters. And again, due to budgets and everything, um, it's gone down. Um, but it's an organization. And uh, of these uh, seven theaters, they all have their season runs. And within that uh, ACT, there are um, a panel of judges that go around and see all the productions and at the end of the year have a little award ceremony, very similar to the Tonys, but obviously on a much smaller scale here in San Diego. And it's a nice little uh, get-together for all the, all the uh, wonderful actors here in San Diego. So being able to uh, direct a show that actually falls into that, uh, what's a good word, realm, is, uh, is an honor. This is the first one uh, for myself, uh, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the show is Awaken Sing by Clifford Odets. As I mentioned before, it's 1933 in the show, but uh, it wasn't first produced until 35. It's a wonderful, wonderful piece. Um, you know, I could go on about it, but... There is such a vast amount of information out there on the internet. Uh, just Google it. Uh, do some other searches. You know, Awake and Sing, Clifford Odets, Clifford Odets, Awake and Sing, 1933, 1935. Uh, the most amazing thing about it that I will speak about it is it was put on by the group theater. Um, and back in the day, that was an avant-garde uh, radical theater. They really... Uh, stepped forward within theater of New York of the time. And uh, the original cast of characters, get this, the original cast of characters uh, included Art Smith, Stella Adler, Morris Karnofsky, I believe I just butchered that, Phoebe Brand, Jules Garfield, Roman Bohen, Luther Adler, yes, Stella's brother, um, E, excuse me, J. E. Bromberg, and lastly, Stanford Meisner. So, if you're a uh, fan of acting or uh, an actor yourself, or actress, I, not sexist at all, it's just a blanket term. Um, those names should ring a bell. <laughs> um, they went on to have not only wonderful acting careers, but um, Stella Adler and Stanford Meisner became some of the greatest teachers um, from the first half of this of well last century, and they they changed the face of acting. Um, the two of them and Uta Hagen, I would say. And now I'm not you know a believer in one way or the other. Um, I'm an actor director myself. I just say make the moment r real, and there are so many tools for so many different people that can make the moment real for them, pfft, I don't care what tool you use. If you want to take a hammer and bang a screw into the wall, pun intended, then go for it. I don't care. You can use a hammer to put a screw in the wall, but if you really try to use a screwdriver to put a nail in the wall, you're going to have some problems. So obviously there are certain tools to match certain um, jobs, but there is more than one way to do it. Anyway, so to be able to direct a piece like this, a classic piece like this, is such an honor. A little brief history of the show. It's uh, 1933, Jewish New York. Um, three generations, two of which um, have come over from the old country. One generation is the uh, firstborn Americans, and that's a, uh, a brother and sister. And then you've got a... Uh, a uh, few other characters that help move the story along and, and provide um, plot, but it is uh, so so phenomenal. Um, if you if you have a chance, do yourself a favor: archive.org, um, Awaken Sing, Clifford Odets. It's available there for. Um, I'm not sure if it's able to be downloaded, but you can view it there for sure. So. Uh, I will definitely be talking about that as as it's a it's a new experience for me. 
in the sense of uh, directing a classic um, at this level of the community theater realm here in San Diego. So I am honored to be doing that. But also um, to be able to share it with you guys out in the uh, inter interwebs. So if you get a chance, come out to Poway, California, March 2nd to March 25th, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, uh, 8 o'clock Friday, Saturday, 2 o'clock on Sundays. Check out the show, uh, www.powpac.org is the website, and I hope to see you there. Well, we've come to the end of the show. That's the end of the show music there. It's, I can't say the word again because we've just had this the first time. To email us, it's the random variety show podcast at gmail.com. The random variety show podcast at gmail.com. For Twitter, it's the word the underscore RVS underscore podcast. And the blog is at the random variety show podcast.blogspot.com. Hey, thanks again for downloading and listening. I really appreciate it. Thanks, folks. Good night.